Well, despite the fact the passenger service has been idled on the ENN Dayliner, rail authorities say the train is still a danger. It is people who are on the ground at risk. And over the past four years, the train has been involved in 28 accidents involving pedestrians and vehicles, and four people have been killed. A new safety campaign has been launched in the hope of putting the brakes on this disturbing trend. Hay News Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. A crew with Southern Rail of Vancouver Island is installing a sign on the Chase River Rail overpass. It's a banner they hope will hammer home an important safety message. I think the most effective thing that we can do is uh, raise public awareness about safety around the tracks. Representatives of Southern Rail, the Island Corridor Foundation, RCMP and the BC Safety Authority are here to launch their new rail safety campaign. The main message, if you walk on or near the rail tracks or ignore railway crossing signs and signals, you are putting yourself at great risk. The average person wouldn't think of walking down the highway uh, with their back to the traffic with headphones on listening to music. However, there are people out there that actually do it on the tracks. You are putting your life in other people's hands if you can't hear a train coming and you're walking on the tracks. From 2006 to 2010, there were 28 incidents involving the train and pedestrians or vehicles, resulting in four fatalities. One death is one too many, uh, as far as I'm concerned. We really want to try and hammer that home. Some people are under the false impression there are no trains on these rails. Not true. While passenger service is suspended for now, freight service is still running. The Island Corridor Foundation is waiting for word from the provincial and federal government on $15 million funding for infrastructure investment. And while they wait, passenger service is cancelled, but freight trains still use the ENN line. With all the work that we've been doing looking for the infrastructure dollar and the fact that the VIA system isn't running, people are almost of the mind there's no trains on the track. But indeed there is. Uh, we have uh, freight trains running and other vehicles on there, inspection vehicles. Plans are underway to build a trail next to the tracks, a much safer alternative than walking on the rail line. If and when funding does come through, there will be a lot more traffic using these rails, and trains will move on a different schedule. We're very confident the VIA system's coming back, and when it comes back, we're going to have more freight trains, we're going to have more passenger trains, and they're going to be at different times of the day than what we've been used to. Hopefully by then, the safety message will be heard. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News.